It is day three of backpacking in Haleakala National Park in on the Hawaiian island of Maui. Uh, this is the day where I am just getting out of the crater. That's the entire goal for today. So I have two options to get out of the crater. I could go back to the main part of the crater, go up the <laughs> the sliding sands trail, uh, Kionehe'ehe'e trail, back to where my car is, or I could keep following the Halemu'u Mau, Halemu'u Mau trail, which I was on yesterday. Uh, which takes me to another trailhead that is a shorter climb, um, but takes me to a hiker pickup location. So in this national park, they actually encourage people, even if you're doing a day hike, to hike from the top to the bottom of the crater and then um, get a ride with a fellow visitor, <laughs> some stranger, uh, all the way back to your car. So that's a little under four miles. The... Um, the route back to my car is a little over seven and a half miles, but I think I'm going to try the shorter route. I'm going to see if there's any visitors here who are feeling the spirit of Aloha. I actually picked one up on, on my way up. Um, he was in front of me in the visitor center and uh, I heard the route he was taking. So um, I knew who he was kind of. <laughs> and so I picked him up and I, I took him to the top. So hopefully if there is a thing called karma, um, that I have some and that somebody will pick me up. So this is where I'm starting from today. This is the Holua cabin. Uh, this is the water source for both the cabin and the campground. Uh, the tent camps are way up this hill, so whenever I needed water, I had to come down the hill and grab water here. But the tent campsites are up there, kind of tucked into some vegetation and some, some lava rock, and that's where the main part of the crater is too. But I am going this way. Uh, I could actually see the switchbacks there. They're on this little hill that kind of comes down here. So that's where I'm headed this morning. This is where the clouds come up from the ocean. Doesn't look so bad right now. Got some over here, but yesterday it was just a wall of clouds right here. So hopefully I'll be able to actually see something. If I started this trail yesterday, I would have been in clouds the entire time. So headed up to the hiker pickup spot and Again, hopefully somebody is feeling the spirit of Aloha. Oh, you couldn't see it before, but that's uh, it's part of that main part of the crater with that, that nice red cinder cone. Right here, this is looking back kind of southish. Um, that's the, the long way up, <laughs> the, the seven and a half miles. Uh, you can actually see there's a ranger shelter here. That's where all the, the tent camping is. But headed away from that, beautiful stuff. Uh, and headed towards the the easier stuff. This is still pretty. It's not as jaw-dropping as that main part of the crater. Even though I'm not heading into that heart of the crater, this is still a pretty, pretty cool trail carved into the lava rock right here. And that's the edge of the cloud, and I can actually see the trail. I don't know if it'll come out on camera. But there's switchbacks right along this slope here. So that's where I'm headed to head up. Gotta make it across the across the lava first. Part way up the switchbacks, but also part way in a cloud. Clouds have kind of taken over. Uh, this building right there is the uh, Hulua campground. You can see I'm just gonna be heading straight up into the cloud. I'm not even that far up the switchbacks. That's where they started, but wanted to get a little bit of a video in while I can still see some stuff. You can see the cinder cones and such, kind of, over there. I'm heading up and heading into the cloud and everything is covered with a light mist right now. This is just the turn of the switchback and it just keeps going up. Cloud layer update. It is here. It is super here. So that's where the crater was. And then these are the switchbacks I just went up. So again, I call these cloud layers that roll in smoke monsters. I have been devoured by the smoke monster today. It's cool, but can't see anything. Still in the clouds. You see the, maybe, if the camera picks it up, the mist kind of coming up 
this hill. This is the ocean side over here. And then here's the ridge. I'm walking basically the crest of the ridge. And then that's the beautiful crater over that way. So pretty soon I'm going to be turning away from the crater side altogether, which today really means nothing, but then I will be headed over to the hiker pickup area. Park Road, 0.7 mile. I'm showing the trail signs. <laughs> there's the sign for the crater, Haleakala Crater. I'm showing the signs because there's really nothing else to point out right now. So 0.7 miles to the road. I see cars, barely. <laughs> so this must be the trailhead. And across the road there is the hiker pickup. Definitely past a couple of day hikers so far. I'm not sure they're going to see anything on this trail. <laughs> but hopefully somebody's going to be nice at the hiker pickup. This is such a part of the culture here. They actually have a sign for it. Hitchhiker pull up, cross road, and follow trail. So here's the road, and that's the trail. Okay, so this is it. Nice big pull out. Um, just had a couple cars go by. I didn't wave or stick my thumb out or anything. This was way more visible when I came in a couple days ago, so we will see how this goes. That is now 10 cars that have blown by. Ouch. Very ouch. I'm friendly. Well, it's either now or keep waiting or uh, go back and and hike the, the couple miles back up. So uh, I'm gonna keep waiting. I haven't been waiting that long, just 10 have passed me by. Lucky number 12, car number 12 was the one that stopped. It was a couple from San Francisco. Um, I and a local named Jillian actually got a ride from them. So I'm back at the trailhead, <laughs> back at my rental car, and that's it for three days of backpacking in Halealaka National Park. <laughs>